Hey everyone, Amir here. I wanted to make a quick video today to show you guys how I farm rainbow goblins. I recently made a monk, and I honestly feel like it's much faster than Demon Hunter and Witch Doctor chicken builds out there. I actually think it's the fastest build out there to farm rainbow goblins. So basically, let's go over the gear that I use. You're going to want to roll RCR and CDR on all of your items. You can really mix and match a lot of things, but here are the main things that you really need. You're going to want an Ingeum. You're going to want four-piece Raymond set. You're going to want Leoric's crown with a yellow gem. You're going to want Cinder Coat. And Kyoshiro Soul. Also, there's Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. And Reaper's Reps. Some other things to help out with spirit regeneration are Inspire. And also, in the cube, we have Burst of Wrath, Pride's Fall, and Royal Ring to activate the four piece. Alright, so let's start out with what routes I use. In Act 1, you want to go to Royal Crypts right away. You generally just want to dash down the middle. You can hear goblins from the side, so you don't really have to worry. You just want to get to the end as fast as possible. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to go to Cathedral. Level 1. And you're basically looking for, uh, I think it's the Ark's Passage. And once you get the map layout, it's really, really easy to farm. You'll know, like, where to go, generally. So it makes it really easy to find it. Although, I'm kind of failing right now. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're at Leoric's Passage. So we found a Rainbow Goblin already. Wow, okay. Well, <laughs> I'll keep going and then I'll invite people after. So after Leoric's Passage, you're going to want to go to Southern Highlands. In Southern Highlands, you want to look around for goblins outside in a circle. That's what I usually do. And then you can go down the middle to find the Cave of the Moon, I think. Let's see what it's called. It's Cave of the Moon Clan level 1. You want to do 1 and 2 to look for goblins. You also can hit shrines if you want. I'm not really using Gloves of Worship, but you can. So here's level 2. And there's nothing there. So you're going to want to go to Northern Highlands. Also same idea, you want to go around the circle in this area. And then down the middle. And then up over here to Leoric's Hunting Grounds. And there's nothing there. So we're going to go to Act 2. And we're going to go to Ancient Waterway. You're going to want to go to the Eastern Channel and the Western Channel. And you're going to want to go to both levels. And you don't really have to check them thoroughly. Generally, when you get to the second level, you just go right away. It'll make it faster to find Rainbow Goblins. So now you're going to want to go to the Eastern Channel and check both levels there. After that, you're going to want to go to Act 3 and you're going to want to go to the Core of Ariat.
Now, this is a really small map, and a lot of people say goblins don't spawn often, but I honestly feel like it's worth doing. It takes like a couple seconds, and it's really easy to teleport around, because it pretty much has the same layout every single time. So, there's nothing there. We're going to want to go to Tower of the Cursed. You're going to want to do level 1 and level 2. You also want to check down here on level 2. A lot of people miss goblins here and I've gotten plenty right in this location. And then also at the entrance. Next up we want to go to Tower of the Dam level 1. As you can see there's a goblin right there. You want to check level 2. And then after that, you want to go to Act 5, Pandemonium Fortress level 1. And something about Pandemonium Fortress a lot of people argue about are that it's just too big and the map is really hard to get around but I think it's really worth it because if you get a goblin in here it's guaranteed to have two goblins and I've gotten a lot of rainbow goblins in Pandemonium Fortress We're going to go down to level 2. Some other things to mention is that the radius for the sound for goblins is pretty large. So you really don't have to worry about missing them. Just pay attention to the map and just pretty much hear them. So that was the routes that I use. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to add. Um, I guess in options you can turn on go to sound and then you can go to effects volume turn that up to 100 that'll make it a lot easier to hear the goblins and other than that that's pretty much it uh oh wait actually there are some rumors that basically princess lillian doesn't spawn if evil oliver is in there or prince or super awesome sparkle cake but that is not true. Uh, she does spawn, and she has the chance of spawning, because when I got my wings, uh, there was Evil Oliver in the game, and people were going to leave, but I ended up looking at the map, and I found Princess Lillian. So you definitely want to just thoroughly look through rainbow portals, and hopefully you guys find her. If you guys have any information that you want to add, or if you guys think there's anything that's faster, then let me know, because uh, I just want to give information out there and help people get their wings. I'm going to leave this at the end. I'm really not going to go through all of it. You can just see it. It's There's really not much to explain, but you'll get the hang of it. And it's really fun and fast. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys get the wings and I'll see you in the next video.